You want to know what real life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's Susan with NRSNG. Just finished my shift in the emergency department and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about pediatric patients. I had a ton of them tonight and they're my absolute favorite, but I know it can be a struggle sometimes to get vital signs on them. So I wanted to talk to you about some of my tips and tricks on how to get vital signs on a pediatric patient. So. To start off with, I'll talk about getting a temperature. I usually tell them that the thermometer is a stinkometer and it's going to tell me if they've been brushing their teeth and so I'll ask them, have you been brushing your teeth? And they'll be like, yes, of course, or you know, whatever. Sometimes they're like, no, and I'm like, this must be a really stinky one then, you know. And then if they can't take an oral temperature and it has to be axillary, it's going to tell me how many baths they've taken and of course this doesn't work. Usually kids that are getting a rectal temp anyway are aren't really old enough for you to really banter with like that. But no matter what the temperature is, when it comes up, I always go, pew, you really need to brush those teeth or you should probably take some more baths. And they always find that really funny. And then for the pediatric pulse ox, I, it's shaped like a band-aid. I always tell them that, you know, we are checking, we're putting a band-aid on them and that that's gonna make them feel better. And sometimes I have mom and dad even give it a kiss after I've put it on their finger, you know, just for that extra little bit of time. And they usually feel so much better about getting a band-aid. So the pulse ox has never really been an issue for me. If it's something that they are absolutely petrified of, I put it on their toes and then I put their sock and their shoe on because out of sight, out of mind. Then um, for the blood pressure, which can be the most difficult one to get, I always tell them that it's my muscle measurement machine and I am gonna measure how big their muscles are. So you tell them that it's a super squeezy hug and I'm like, have you ever had a squeezy hug? You know, and they'll be like, oh yeah, dad does that. Or if not, um, be like, could I give you a squeezy hug? Let's practice squeezy hugs. And then you give them a hug and you don't squeeze super hard, but you squeeze enough to give them, you know, a pretty decent hug and then you're like that's all the blood pressure cuff is doing is just squeeze in your arm and it's gonna tell me how big your muscles are and usually by the time you've done the pulse ox and the time that you've done the temperature they've started to maybe come around to the fact that you're not such a bad person or they're not quite as scared and you wrap the blood pressure cuff around them and you hold their arm for them and tell them you know just hold their hand so it helps them keep it still do the blood pressure once they're done with the blood pressure uh, no matter what the numbers are, again, be like, have you been working out? I think you go to the gym. Do you go to the gym? Um, they always find that really funny and they'll always be like, no, I just go play in the, you know, playground or whatever. <laughs> or sometimes they come up with really funny stuff. And then um, as far as using my stethoscope to listen apically to their heart rate, I tell them that it is my elephant trunk and I always play, you know, <laughs> and I, I set the elephant trunk, my stethoscope bell, on their heart and I listen. They always find it funny because at first maybe you might say, oh, my elephant trunk is trying to listen to your elbow. And you put it on their elbow and I'm like, I don't hear anything. And they find that really funny or their knee or whatever. And then you go to the more serious places like the heart and they'll sometimes, you know, or they're more often going to sit still for you after that. Oh, as far as their respirations go, I usually will be getting their respirations uh, at the same time as I'm doing the temperature. Um, you know, just explaining the temperature or waiting for the temperature to um, result or what, whatever it is, I usually am counting for that period of time. I'll usually count my respirations about 30 unless they're very irregular, in which case I will count for the full minute. And as far as counting for the heart rate, you always count a pediatric heart rate for a full minute. And then for the flax scale or for their pain scale, I'll show them the pictures of the faces and I'll have them point to it. You know, how does, what, could you point to the picture to show me how that makes you feel? And they'll point to it. Um, and usually you can kind of see it in their face anyway, but at that age, you know, range that I'm speaking about those you know toddler to like seven maybe even six year olds they they will respond well to pointing to the picture so definitely do the Wong Baker pediatric faces scale <laughs> and then you know that's basically how you get a set of vitals on a pediatric patient um, make it a game make it fun you guys can do it 
Kids love it when you laugh and make jokes and are silly. I, I have a ton of knock-knock jokes. I'll leave you with my favorite joke for the kids. Why did the banana go to the hospital? Because he wasn't peeling very well. <laughs> they find that one really funny. All right, I'll see y'all next week.